Hi. Choices that we make in our lives are very important. There are a few choices that we make in our life that really make us think, wow, that was the best thing I did. Few choices that we make in our life makes us think, why did I really choose to do that? Choices that we make really impact our lives. Today we talk about the Bible character who chose to do what he thought was right and later regretted in his life. In today's Bible banter. Welcome to today's Bible banter. Today we are going to talk about Judas Iscariot. Now Judas is one such character in the Bible which has raised a lot of questions and has caused a lot of discussions around. The story of Judas begins when Jesus Jesus chooses his 12 disciples. Now Judas was one of chosen 12 by Christ. So Judas uh, so the inclusion of Judas was not an accident or was not a mistake that Christ made but if we read bible bible tells us that Jesus spent a whole night before choosing his disciples so inclusion of judas was a very prayerfully taken action now interestingly whenever judas is mentioned in the bible we always find he comes with an added information most of the time it says he was the one who betrayed jesus now uh, it is important for us to understand that most of the gospels or every gospel that is written in the bible was written after the events of resurrection and the crucifixion and the resurrection were taken so that that is where the extra piece of information always comes but judas was one of the 12 disciples of christ and 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 that's where his story in the bible begins Interestingly, Judas was also given the same spirit and authority that all the 12 disciples had. Now, if we read Luke chapter 9 verse 1, it says when Jesus when Jesus had called the 12 together, he gave them power and authority to drive out all demons and to cure diseases. So, it was not that level got that spirit, even Judas got that spirit. being part of those 12 disciples Judas walked with Christ very very closely he he saw all the miracles that Christ performed he heard every teaching that Christ gave to the whole crowd and to just this 12 disciples Now Jesus chose this for the disciples because he had a large crowd that was following him and and he thought it is important that he chooses the disciples people so that he can help them teach them so that they can carry on his mission. Another interesting thing that we learn about Judas in Bible that he was the treasurer for the church. Now, not that Jesus when he walked around had lots of money so he needed a treasurer, but then he carried a purse with the money in them so that whatever expenses occur, Judas would take care of them through the purse. It also mentions that Judas had an habit of stealing from the purse for his own benefit. Seriously? One of the twelve chosen by God, chosen by Christ, prayerfully, thoughtfully, and yet he was there in the twelve. And Jesus was aware that his mission on this earth is not to be here forever, but then one day he has to die on the cross for our sacrifice. And as time came closer for his crucifixion. we see the way events unfolded we see jesus was sitting uh, for a meal in one of the guests place and where a widow came with a jar of alabaster oil and poured it on jesus looking at that judas rebuked her saying hey lady you're spending almost your year's salary on that why don't you just sell it and give money to poor Well, neither the lady was wrong, nor the Judas was wrong. Both of them spoke from, or did what they did from their own perspective. But in two Gospels, this is shown as a turning point 
from where Judas went on to betray Jesus. Because after this, there's a record of him and where he went uh, to the high priests and uh, told them that he would betray him. Now the question would always remain, why did Judas betray Christ? And there can be a lot of answers, there can be a lot of discussions around that. But then my dear friends, Judas chose to betray Christ. Just now we might say, it wasn't someone supposed to do that. So if, if it was not anybody else, it was Judas. Yes, but he chose to do it. God never forces us to do things. He waits for us to choose to do his will. Judas chose to do what he pleased was right. Judas allowed Satan to take control of his life. So Judas then went on to betray Christ. Now as we saw last week, Judas was not the only person who ran away from Christ or was not the only person who betrayed Christ. What Peter did was no less betrayal than what Judas did. But again, Judas chose the wrong path by not repenting for what he did. We see that Judas had a very, very gruesome death where he committed suicide. My dear friends, our life depends on what we choose to do with it. Judas was so close with the Lord, so close with the Christ, yet he was so far. Many of us, we see a lot of things that God does for us. We, we look at the things that happen around us and we think of our lives and praise God for the things that He is doing in our lives. And yet there are times in our life where we choose to do what is not right for Him. Yet we choose to do what we want to do rather than asking God what He wants to do. Yet we choose to select our own ways of life rather than taking God's way of life. My dear friends, as we look at this character of Judas, Let's take time to think of the choices that we make in our life. And let us ask God to lead us, to guide us and give us his wisdom so that we would choose to do what is right for our lives and his will. Make our choice. Trivia time. Last week we asked you two questions and, and the first question was how many different authors wrote New Testament? And the answer is there are nine different authors for New Testament. Now interestingly out of these nine authors only three were uh, the 12 uh, out of these 12 apostles. So it was Peter, Matthew and John who were out of his 12 disciples who actually wrote in New Testament and other six were uh, the other believers or other followers of Christ. Out of these 27 books, Paul, who was not one of the apostles, Paul wrote about 13 to 14 books depending on if Hebrew is considered as his book or not. But then he is considered to be an author for 13 to 14 epistles that are included in New Testament. The second question was, what was the point of conflict between Peter and Paul? Peter and Paul who were the early key leaders of the early church had a point of conflict. Peter always thought that every non-Jewish person should follow few Jewish traditions so that they can be a part of Church of Christ or Church of God, namely the circumcision. But for Paul, he had a different opinion. And then Peter's opinion was corrected by God when uh, he was shown that God wants everybody to be included in his church. And then later they resolved the conflict and worked together for the development of church. Well, today's question, 
How did Jesus reveal the one who would betray him? Now, how did Jesus reveal the one who would betray him? Second question, who gave his tomb to be used for the body of Christ? I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If this video or any of the other videos that we have published on our site have been a source of blessing to you, please do let us know so that we can be encouraged in our efforts of making these video presentations. If you have any specific feedback, please do let us know in the comment section below and please, or please do write to us in the link given in the description. We would love to hear from you. Please do like these videos or any other videos on our YouTube channel. Please do subscribe to our channel and share these videos with your friends so that they can also be blessed by these videos. Have a lovely week. Be safe.